Welcome to Family Gamer TV. Now we all love Angry Birds Space, but in this latest transmission from the good ship Angry Birds, we get to see some brand new levels, 15 new levels in fact, for this popular update. And it comes in a kind of educational crossover where Angry Birds are teaming up with NASA. And now this is to try and communicate more with kids about space, but also not just the adventures, the excitement of space, but some of the details about planets. Now here we have planet Pluto, that um, when I was a kid was a planet, but um, as you way well know now, isn't a planet anymore. So as you can see, the gameplay is that familiar Angry Birds style, as we've seen in Angry Birds Space, with a planetary twist on each of the levels. And in addition to that, there's a range of space videos that can be watched during the game that um, allow teachers and pupils to increase their knowledge about space. And also there's some sort of stealth learning and casual learning um, under the hood. So as you're playing the Angry Birds game, you're gonna come away with knowledge about the solar system. But I want to hear from you. Is this injection of education into your favorite games a popular thing? Or would you prefer that education and entertainment kind of stayed separate? Should games be in the classroom or should they be played after school and just for fun? So, would you be getting Angry Birds Space as Solar System Update? If you want it, it's there now on iOS and Android. Let us know in the comments. Check back on Family Gamer TV for lots more updates on Angry Birds, on Lego, on Dimensions, on Infinity, on Skylanders.